Okay, this is the uh, sample test three review. Uh, so make sure you have a uh, copy of this and follow along. Uh, we'll start with 1A. Uh, so for this, we've got, uh, it's only ask us to find the vertical asymptote uh, and the slant. So the first one in the test will definitely have a slant. Uh, and so you're gonna see the higher power on top and a lower power down below. That's how you know uh, that you're gonna have a slant asymptote. Let's start with the, the vertical asymptote. So we'll start with the, the VA. Okay, so the vertical asymptote, what you're gonna do is you're gonna set the, the bottom equal to uh, zero is the rule there. So we're gonna do 2x minus three and set it equal to zero. And when we solve for that, we're gonna get x is equal to three halves. Now it's very important to make sure you include the x equals and the y equals when you use these asymptotes. If you just put three halves, you're not gonna get full credit because it's gotta be an equation of a line. So make sure you put the x equals there. Now the next one that we wanna do is the slant. Now in order to get the slant asymptote, we have to do long division with this. So it's always gonna be the one that's on the bottom and we're dividing that into the one that's in the top. So 6x squared minus 17x plus five. As before, in the last test when we had synthetic division, make sure if there's a uh, power missing, make sure you put a zero placekeeper in for that. This one doesn't require it. It's got both terms outside and you've got all the terms inside. So we don't need a zero placekeeper here, but just something to look for uh, as you go through these problems. Uh, you wanna ask yourself, what do I have to multiply 2x by in order to get 6x squared. So we need a three, first of all, and we also need an x, and you're gonna multiply that by both things on the outside. So we're gonna get 6x squared minus 9x, and with long division, you're always subtracting. Synthetic division is adding, this is gonna be subtracting. So we subtract that, we get zero, now this, be careful with your signs here. We've got negative 17 and you're subtracting a negative nine. So you're gonna do negative 17 plus nine. And so that's gonna give you negative eight X. And then you're gonna bring down the next term. So we're gonna repeat the process. Now we ask, what do I have to multiply the two X by in order to get negative eight X? Well, we already have the X there, uh, but you'll need a negative four. So we're gonna multiply negative four times both things on the outside. And we get negative eight X, and then we get plus 12. And then when you subtract that, you get five minus 12, which is negative seven. Now, when you write your answer, we're gonna ignore the remainder. Because if I, if I take the remainder over two X plus three and I have X going to infinity or negative infinity, that last part's gonna end up going to zero. So we don't need the remainder. All we need is this part here. So when you write your answer, we have x equals for your vertical asymptote. Now for this one, you wanna make sure you put y equals, and it's gonna be three x minus four. So you have your vertical asymptote and you have your slant asymptote.